Today we're going to talk about sun's apparent path or apparent motions of the sun lab. <clears throat> I am going to plot December 21st. I'm going to use azimuth 120. That's direction. So 120 is over here. Okay, it's just a little south of east. And that is true in December, the sun rises south of east. And my altitude is zero. So at 120, exactly zero. So right on the horizon, I'm just going to put a dot. My next one is azimuth 152 right there. And my altitude is 20. So right at the 20, I am going to put a little dot again. And then I'm going to do azimuth 182 right here and altitude of 25, which is the highest point that the sun reaches in December. So it's very low in December, very low in the horizon that creates longer shadows. <clears throat> um, azimuth 211 right there. Okay, and I'm using this thing to help me with my altitude. That's 20 on this one. And then my last one, azimuth 240, that's right there. And it's altitude zero, so it's right at the horizon. Then I connect these dots, and I get to see the sun's path for December. Now, as you can see, I've already plotted June, <clears throat> June, March, and September. Okay, March and September wind up being the same. In fact, if you look at the numbers... They're exactly the same altitude, exactly the same azimuth, and that's because March and September, they both rise in the east, and the sun sets exactly in the west for both March and September, so it's the same sun's path. And on these equinoxes, everybody gets 12 hours. Now, if we talk about the sun's path, I'm going to also write down that this is December 21. So we really get a clear picture of those sun's path. And you can see that December is very low in the sky. March and September are middle. And the highest point in the sky is June. But also what's of note is that if you look at the east, here's due east. Only the red line, which is March and September, the sun rises exactly in east. In June, the sun rises north of east. So it's not exactly east. It's a little bit more north of it. And in December, the sun rises south of east. I am going to need you to write at least five sentences describing this process, how I used this uh, ruler to help me with altitude, and that azimuth is just the direction, okay? It's a very precise way of saying north, east, south, and west. For this other page that you have to do, okay, on this page, it asks you about the total degrees the sun path takes, okay, and for December, that is 240 minus 120, 240 minus 120, and that equals 120 degrees. So the sun travels a total of 120 degrees. The time, time the sun takes to move through its path, I take my top time, which is 1,600 hours, and I subtract it from 8. So 16 minus 8 gives me 8 hours. And when I divide those two, I get 15 degrees per hour. If I do, um, not, I'm going to jump down to June. Okay, so June, total degrees. Here's my chart. My total degrees would be 300 minus 60. So 300 minus 60 equals 240 degrees. The time, it would be 2100 minus 5. So 21 minus 5 a.m. gives me 16 hours. When I divide these two, surprise, surprise, I get 15 degrees per hour. Any idea why that is? 
Think about the rotation of the Earth. The, ro the Earth rotates at a very specific speed. It rotates 15 degrees per hour, okay? So even though the sun is traveling at different paths across our sky throughout the year, it's still moving at the same speed, 15 degrees, 15 degrees, 15 degrees every hour, 